it has arrived. My order from Just Go Sketching is here. So let's see what we got. Hi everyone, Wim here from We Look Watercolors. Thanks again for joining me on my beginner journey in sketching and watercolor painting. Today, I am super excited because the mailman just delivered my order from Just Go Sketching and I thought I'd unpack it together with you. I have not opened it yet, so I'm gonna find out what's in here together with you. Disclaimer, I purchased this myself. These goods are not sponsored in any way and I'll link to the Etsy shop in the description below if you're interested in getting your own. There's a ton of varieties and sizes and colors, so do have a look. Let's open this up. So, the, as you can see, the cardboard box is a little dented, probably from the post service. But let's see what we got here. Okay, some packaging paper, a very nice postcard. Oh, it's a thank you note. So, just go sketching. Greetings from Cornwall in the UK. Thank you for choosing a Just Go Sketching companion. I hope you enjoy using it. Happy sketching, Ian. That's right, um, the person that makes these, these are um, custom made, they are handmade. Um, he lives in Cornwall, UK. I found out about these products um, via other YouTubers um, and um, if I remember correctly from their videos, this um, little thank you card uh, features, let me see if I can zoom in here, features some of his own artwork. Um, and I was indeed able to verify that because I do follow him on Instagram, obviously. And um, I found several of these references back on his Instagram. So thanks Ian for this nice thank you card. Let's put this aside. Just go sketching sticker and ta-da! Here it is. Oh, this looks so good. Just go sketching, handcrafted sketching companion, handcrafted in Cornwall by an artist for artists. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to call myself an artist, but hey, Thanks for the compliment, Ian. This um, comes in a variety uh, of colors and sizes, as I mentioned in the intro. Um, I uh, went for, let me see if I can say this correctly from the delivery um, note that was included. I went for the textured burgundy color and uh, the midnight blue uh, magnets and elastic bands. Um, let's remove this here. I'll put the box aside, but let's see what's in there in a minute. So, another sticker. This is so nice. What immediately um, strikes me because uh, on his Etsy shop, you can um, add a note to, because he makes all of these um, uh, on order, just custom made, um, and you can leave a note. And as you might have seen from my previous videos, I am left-handed. Um, and in previous or in other YouTubers um, unboxing or um, people using this sketch uh, companion, uh, the magnets are uh, placed on the left-hand side. Now, because I am left-handed, I had asked in the note to um, if it would be possible to move these to the right-hand side, because this, um, obviously, as I'll demonstrate in a minute, uh, takes your paint palette. These are magnets, so if you have a magnet, uh, a metal tin um, with your watercolors, this would fit here. And then this is your water cup. Uh, so I usually dip from the left hand side, dip into the water, onto the paint and then onto the paper, um, which is very nice, very considerate of him that he can just um, 
make this according to your wishes. Another item that I had noticed in unboxing videos of other YouTubers and other people that use this is that usually Ian includes a gift. But I had um, requested, not requested, I had asked very nicely if he was to include a gift, which was totally up to him, then perhaps um, he would provide me with a travel brush instead of a mechanical pencil, which he usually includes. That is because I already have five Nick Pro mechanical pencils and I do not do not own a travel brush um, as of yet, because ta-da, as you can see, Ian was very kind to include a gift um, and he made it a travel brush size six apparently so let's see if we can open this up a nice uh size for a travel brush um it's let me see if i can wet this up to release the glue from the bristles all right there we go yeah oh this is such a nice brush so thanks ian thanks a lot for this gift as i said you didn't have to include it but i'm so glad you did Really nice. Thanks you. Thank thank you. All right. So that goes in there, and the elastic is obviously to hold a brush, a pencil, whatever you would use this sketching companion for. Um, so how do you use this? Uh, if I am not mistaken, let me get this box again into the view um, without giving away too much of the other stuff already. Yes, here it is. All right, move that to the side again. A just go sketching manual, if I'm not mistaken. So I have a bit of an advantage because I've watched it being used by other people already. This is the manual. It gives a, a bit of explanation, a bit of background on who Ian is and why he's doing this. Um, he also makes his very own watercolor pigments. And wow, look at this. I thought this was a print, but it is not. It is actually glued. I don't know if this is, if you can see that. This is a piece of watercolor paper with swatches of his very own uh, watercolors that he sells. And it is actually glued to this leaflet. This is such, so nice. Really nice. So the watercolors, some explanation about that. Sketching kit, companions. All right. And how to use it. So this is how you would use this. I hope this is in focus. Yes. Uh, by the way, if you would hear any noise it is raining like hell in here um, in Belgium uh, so I apologize up front if that would be um, on the footage here I can't help the weather <laughs> um, I wish I could because then I would take this baby out for a test run right now but I'm not gonna get soaking wet I'll do that uh, for you N not getting wet I'll be using this in another uh, video for you soon so, um, let's see what this little pocket here, if I am correct, the board clips, yes, indeed. So let's open that up. Two clips. And how you would use this this, by the way, is the, uh, and let me get my reference again, the 8 by 5.8 inches uh, Just Go Sketching Companion. Now, in Belgium, we um, don't use inches, so I did a quick calculation. Obviously, my um, calculator did that, and it is about 20 centimeters by 15 centimeters. And that is perfect because, um, as you know, I use, I love using these Hahnemühle 14 centimeters by 14 squares. Um, so let's see if that fits. It should. 
uh, fit perfectly actually. So you would um, grab all the pages um, and, and just keep the covers here. Let's make some room. You would slide this over. Yep. You would open it up to the page that you would want to use and then just clip. Let's see if that goes. Clip your page. Clip your book to the board actually. Let's see if this would work with such a thick. Yes, it does. It really does work with small and thick sides. Um, perfect. This is soap and then you just use this. You place your hand or whatever. You can lay it flat on the table for all. Um, uh, purposes but uh, field sketching usually you don't have a table with you so you just keep this um, tilted on your hand um, it's perfect it's it really is perfect cool um, as I said a very nice water cup to clean my new travel brush yay <laughs> and then um, obviously the paints um, I am in the process of reorganizing my paints a little bit, so um, you will be uh, very surprised to see that my um, to-go kit is empty at the moment. I still need to clean it out a little. Um, it is empty. I, I need to um, fill it up with the colors that I want to take. Um, I What I usually do is this is my uh, palette with about 48, 50 um, colors uh, in it. And depending on where I'm going or how long I'm gonna go or, or um, what type of painting I would want to do, I just take these um, health pans and fill up my um, takeaway travel uh, kit here. Um, so this, this is uh, how that is supposed to go then. Yep, you hear that click? It is absolutely amazing. There you go. So this, and hey, look at this. Oh my God, look at this, this is wonderful. This travel brush just fits in here perfectly. You would just grab your water, your paint, mixing palette, and just off you go. This is wonderful. This is really very nice. And takes off. Just like that. If you would uh, rather do it like that, just paging the, just uh, painting the left side page or whatever. It, this is very versatile. And again, so considerate of Ian to put this on the right hand side for me. Um, very nice. I think that is about what uh, it's what I wanted to show you on this. Um, companion kit but as you noticed you already had a sneak peek um, there is something else in the box so let's have a look putting this aside um, this is oh um, there is even some something else in this plastic bag let's see here A nice cloth wow with a little wash wash I don't know what what this is called in English um, a wash pin I would assume this just goes on here then in the middle of this is so nice Ian really thinks of everything as it as, as it said on the um, the leaflets handcrafted by an artist and he really knows what an artist needs. So this is just to rinse, uh, to um, dry off or clean up your paintbrush. Very nice, very nice detail to include here. All right, and yes, oh wow, oh wow, this is amazing. You know, I'll tell you in a second, but 
Indian red. You know, I told you Ian, or it's even on the on the leaflet I showed you. Ian also makes his own watercolor pigments, um, watercolor paints. I I should say he uses pigments, um, and he he included one. Wow, Indian red, and just you will never guess why there is a gap here in my um, painting palette because this is the um, burnt sienna and then it goes on to burnt umber and sepia and 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 paints gray and i did not have any uh, red oxide or indian red pr101 i did not buy this this is a, a gift and ian is a mind reader this is what i exactly what i needed so let's just open this up so thank you again for this nice gift Ian, wow, nicely filled to the brim. Awesome. I think he might have been inspired by my color choice of the burgundy, because it is quite nice together. Let me grab some um, some some uh, small piece of paper, watercolor paper, and uh, yeah, actually, why don't we use the nice brush that Ian just provided me with and see if we can swatch out real quick this nice color I'll put this aside oh wow oh wow oh. <laughs> I was just, wow. It has a, a darker tone than I imagined. But look at this, at the amount of pigment and, uh, and nicely granulating. Look at the amount of pigments. These are packed with pigments. Oh, Ian, if you're, if you ever watch this, I swear I'm buying more watercolors from you. <laughs> wow, nice, very nice color. It goes into the palette. There it is. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, but that was not what I was actually going to show you. I was going to show you. Let's... And there's something else even in this. I just keep getting stalled by giving you another big surprise. Oh yes, I know what these are. These are the um, non-metal palettes. So this is basically what you would stick to if this would not be a metal uh, palette or a metal tin. Uh, if it would be plastic, you could just stick these um, metal thingies on there and then they would just click onto the magnets, which is very considerate. It's really, it is, it's awesome. It's very considerate. It's considerate because not everybody uses these Amazon um tins uh very nice very nice detail on to a very big surprise indeed because what i actually really like is that he also makes these very nice canvas um carrying bags so it is just go sketching.com oh it is a velcro so I'll leave that on there. It's a very nice detail. All kinds of straps that you can put stuff in, bottles, a bottle of water, whatever. Um, let's see here. Where is the... Okay, there is the... It's, it goes both ways, so yeah, nice. And that is that it doesn't accidentally go open or fall out or wow nice 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 i had requested this in the um let me see if i get this right the khaki um because i really like this color it is packed with um space for brushes pencils um this should actually fit nicely in there as well that would be the intention of course so let's remove this water cup and then slide that 
let's say slide that in here yep that fits and then your paints would go somewhere else let's say for example over here sketchbook down the middle or in this slot um, yeah let's see I used to use this um, so yeah all of these I'm not gonna do that for the sake of the length of this video but everything all my Nick Pro pencils all my water brushes refills cotton um, buds to clean up some if I made some mistake jelly roll all my microns and room for plenty plenty more uh, my water spraying bottle needed eraser it, it, these clips just can go in here or just uh, in, in, in the bag as well so nice this is so nice look at that even holes and, and stuff oh and yes indeed there is I hadn't noticed it yet but there is a strap to go with that with some clips so let's attach that here make some room close that up and yeah with the strap my camera angle isn't high enough but you can you can imagine right so this is awesome this is really nice wow i am so pleased with all of this in this um in the delivery that came today so thanks again thanks a lot ian this was uh more than i ever could have hoped for um thanks for the present thanks for the the, the um, travel brush for the watercolor um uh, pan half pan um indian red uh, the nice washcloth with the wash pin or whatever you guys call that um, i am a big fan already and i haven't even tried it out in the field yet but that's for another video so i hope you enjoyed this unboxing if you did please consider a thumbs up or even a subscribe that way this video goes out to more people which in turn helps me to create more content in one of the next ones i'll take this uh, baby out into the field for some real life testing that's it for now i'll hope i'll see you in the next one and until then keep creating and keep exploring bye bye